Always gonna eat some pancakes today. Like Etta James. I am gonna have a awesome Valentine's. Pancakes. Happy Valentine's Day, folks. Let's be real. I'm basically at that point in my pregnancy where I am out like a light at like 7 p.m. I don't have the stamina or the interest really on having a big romantic date night. Also, I can't drink, so is there really a point? So I thought we'd get things started off a little earlier this Valentine's Day with a breakfast in bed. I'm talking about some vegan, gluten-free, protein, red velvet pancakes. Oh yes, we are ticking off all the sexy buzzwords today, folks. So you are gonna wanna Instagram this and put in all of those hashtags. I am so excited for this recipe. It's become one of my absolute faves. Your hubby is gonna love it. Your kids are gonna love it. Because come on, who doesn't love pancakes? So guys, let's do this. Let's make my vegan red velvet protein pancakes. I start by preparing my batter by pureeing some gluten-free oats in the food processor until they reach a nice ground up flour-like consistency. Then I add the oat flour to a bowl, along with some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, mashed ripe banana, vegan chocolate protein powder, maple syrup, cocoa powder, plain almond yogurt, vanilla extract, and some pureed beets. And I give it a quick stir. Then I add a flax egg that consists of one tablespoon of ground flax seed and two tablespoons of almond milk sat in the fridge for about an hour. Give it a good stir and set it aside. Next, let's make our cream cheese icing. To a bowl, I soften some vegan cream cheese. Then I add some plain almond yogurt, maple syrup, vanilla extract, and some lemon juice. And I give that a nice stir until it all comes together. Now it's time to get cooking. I add about a tablespoon of coconut oil to a nonstick skillet and about a quarter cup of the pancake batter. Cook until it bubbles around the edges, then give it a good flip to cook on the other side. Now it's time to stack those hot cakes. I stack layers and layers of pancakes with the cream cheese frosting and I stack them pretty high because hey, it is Valentine's Day. Then I top the whole thing off with some beautiful pomegranate arrows, some vegan dark chocolate shavings, and of course, some maple syrup. Get in there and enjoy. All right, folks, me and the baby are super excited to get into this stack of vegan, gluten-free, protein, red velvet pancakes. Oh my God, I can't wait. So guys, I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day with you and your loved ones. If you love this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with what you're gonna be serving for Valentine's Day. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.